The human heart has essentially four chambers, two ventricles and two atria. In the case of zebrafish, this system is slightly simpler and we only have essentially one ventricle and one atria. I think that zebrafish has a major advantage that it is transparent during early stages of development that allows us to do uh, in vivo imaging of uh, multiple organs during the development. Uh, but it also has the ability to regenerate multiple organs and I think this is a key advantage over other uh, animal models that are used, uh, including mice. Our lab is highly specialized in doing uh, in vivo imaging during development of the, of the heart of zebrafish and um, I was always uh, interested in trying to translate this imaging ability to the adult tissues. However, uh, zebrafish becomes opaque and, um, during uh, development, so in adult stages we have an opaque specimen and imaging the heart is practically impossible. And uh, the only techniques that we had at the moment was essentially to do histology, so thin sections of the heart and, and image them using a microscopy. And there were only a few papers that were mentioning echocardiography and, and uh, some attempts of MRI in adult zebrafish. But I had never actually seen a beating heart in any of these uh, techniques uh, that would allow us to extract information for our studies. And uh, this is when I went to the, to the institute retreat and I saw these beautiful images with the MRI uh, uh, in my specimens and I decided to, to contact Astrid, who uh, essentially uh, tackled this very, what seemed impossible challenge to image beating hearts in zebrafish. The main problem is that zebrafish is incredibly smaller than when compared to mice and we knew that we would have a resolution issue uh, regarding the size of the, of the heart. Uh, nevertheless, we were able to, to uh, optimize uh, all, the, all the approaches that we needed to, to be able to acquire a beating heart in the zebrafish. And this is uh, when we got uh, micro CT, uh, which would overcome a major issue of the MRI, which was the resolution. So we knew with the MRI we would be able to see the behavior of, a, of the beating chambers during a functioning heart and we could then take the, the same specimen to a micro CT and get high resolution of, uh, of the morphology of the heart. And this, this is particularly interesting because we could do this uh, imaging within the, the, without dissecting the heart of the fish and we could not only see how the, the chambers were looking morphologically, we could also see how the tissues surrounding the, the heart are also looking in different contexts. Uh, one of the major problems of, uh, of the CT was the fact that the heart is uh, fairly transparent to the, to the X-ray, so we needed to, to uh, use uh, contrast agents for this. And this is when we contacted this lab in, in, uh, at the University of Ghent from Dominique Adrians, who had already optimized a lot of contrast agents, including in zebrafish, and we just uh, adapted this protocol and we were able to get uh, uh, incredibly uh, high resolution uh, images with the micro CT where we can see the morphology of the zebrafish heart.